I guess it's one of those days. We're doing this. It was trending on Twitter, and I don't usually partake because I don't care for power scaling or anything. However, I, I will take a stake in this one. This isn't even nostalgia. This is just knowing the story. And I, I've watched, I've watched Red both. Goku was raised by the strongest person on his planet, then trained by other people that were next in line. And that was before he was like 14. Naruto was 13 by the end of his first series, uh, uh, 17 by the end of Shippuden just to put that in perspective. Goku is 16 by the end of Dragon Ball officially with his fight with Piccolo. It does a time skip for him to get married. Goku trained with Grandpa Gohan, Master Roshi, Korin, Mr. Popo, Kami, kind of at the same time. But not only that, I consider the villains he fights good too because he adapts and copies them as well. He learns after Image, after watching The Crane School, which is the rival school to Master Roshi, he learns how to do that after watching them do that. He also fights against Tian Shen Han, who was brought up by The Crane School, which is Shen, uh, Master Shen. His original trainer was Mercenary Tao. If you know who Mercenary Tao is, he's basically one of the bigger bads of the series. So, I'm going Goku, okay? I, I'm staying Goku. Naruto doesn't have world experience. The couple teachers he have are from where he lives. I, I Goku traveled all over the planet and met all these different people and was trained by them. I just, I don't think it's a competition. It's not about power scaling, uh, if it's about actual battle knowledge and technique and skills learned, it, it's going to be him.